Dying Peas and Dragons is the first segment of the sixth episode of the ninth season of Rugrats. And to be honest, I didn't really care very much for it. Initially, I was quite excited because it's set in an arcade, and I think that that's such a fun environment. And I have to say, I really like the design of the arcade. I think the color palette worked really well. There were plenty of sound effects that really helped to create this atmosphere. And Taffy trips, and the babies think that she's entered one of the arcade games. So they decide that the only thing they can do is to try and go into the arcade game and save various characters and we see them in their imaginative play in this arcade game. And because I'm not the biggest fan of episodes that focus on their imagination, it, it just didn't appeal to me very much at all. I have to say credit where it's due for being very creative. And I think the way it kind of merged the real world and the imaginative world together was quite well done. So it's not necessarily a bad episode. I think it's just not to my liking, which is a shame because I loved the arcade setting. And I wish we got to spend more time in the arcade itself. There were some other good things about it, though, not just the creative aspect, but I think the way Chucky responded to it was very believable. Chucky was quite scared because he, you know, the arcade's a very dark, noisy place, and I think he had a very believable response to it. So it was interesting enough, but the imagination aspect just didn't really work for me very well. Taffy as a character is not too bad, so I didn't mind her being in it and having some of the focus. And Tommy had some good quotes. Nothing I remember to write down, but I remember being impressed with some bits. And the tiny Tommy, the teeny weeny Tommy, was very cute. So there were some things that I enjoyed, but in general, it's not one that I absolutely loved. I, I don't know if I'd watch it again. Maybe I would, because the scenes in the arcade itself were actually okay. But the imaginative play wasn't necessarily to me. I think to sum up, it was an okay episode. If you would like the imagination-based episodes, I think you might actually really enjoy it. But for me, it was maybe slightly above average. <laughs>